So uh, welcome back. Uh, in this lecture, we're going to talk about how to create an intersection. Before you create an intersection, you make sure you have two alignment that is crossing each other. Then we can create the intersection. And one thing you want to make sure is when one alignment meets the other alignment, in your profile view, the uh, grades are very, very close to each other. You really don't want to have a one road coming in uh, four feet or three feet below or above the other road it's not gonna work and you have to go back and make a transition anyway so uh, what well, first thing we're gonna do over here you could let's zoom in it's important when you zoom in and find out the um, alignment of your uh, uh, primary road and alignment of your secondary road that they meet and find that intersection exactly so kind of zoom into here I know this is my alignment of my uh, primary road is right here and they meet about here so i'm going to zoom in right here a little bit and this is the point right there so now when i'm here i'm going to go ahead and uh, from a home tab and find intersection and from intersection click create intersection once you have that it was asking you for uh, select intersection point and you can see the green mark right there once you see the green mark okay click on it and then you see the square right there hit enter and that will bring you to this window and in this window, you want to select the primary road. In this case, the our route be route 200. So we click OK, which will bring us to another window here. And we just complete this window. That's the name of your intersection, the corridor. That's fine. Default is fine. And then when you come down here, really is important right here uh, to select uh, which uh, uh, pr which road Crown will uh, be controlling. In here you see the, uh, uh, the view below the uh, drop down menu and right now we have selected the primary road so this is being our primary road and the crown of this road is uh, controlling but if you can go ahead click the uh, all crown road so both crown will be maintained coming an intersection which kind of make a big change and a big difference it's all on your specification and your your style but let's go ahead and uh, use the uh, primary road control here that's what I like and then we can go ahead click next in this next window uh, it's uh, we are in the geometry detail uh, dialog box both for vertical and horizontal but before you get to down here make sure you have your priority set in your, uh, between your uh, two alignment you can change them if you need it here and make sure you have created a, a selected a right profile then you go into your uh, uh, geometry uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the offset uh, curve return and this is for horizontal here and down here uh, is you have the offset for the curve return profile this is for vertical uh, geometry so now when you look at it here uh, if we click one of these uh, offset parameter when we look at the offset parameter and you see the uh, offset parameter is uh, set uh, based on your lane width and right here and if you go click on your you take a look at the uh, the picture below the uh, uh, dialog box and if you click like uh, for example for uh, uh, left offset right here we can click that and you can see uh, it will show the your lane of your width coming to the intersection of course you can make adjustment and later on to uh, uh, modify these right here the same thing in a curve uh, return uh, parameter we can control the geometry of the uh, uh, curve as you can see it just it shows us the transition uh, from uh, uh, a primary road to the secondary road in here also when you look at this whole dialog box right here you can see up here you have a different coordinate like for example here is a southeastern coordinate and you can go ahead and click these uh, widening uh, I just unchecked it you can look at the picture down below here if you have a vehicle with a bigger radius require a bigger radius turn and uh, like a tractor trailer you can go ahead and uh, check white turn lane for incoming uh, uh, road or uh, check uh, 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 white turn lane for outgoing and uh, you can see the difference right here so these are parameters you can change let me click ok in the lane uh, slope uh, parameter, it's, uh, it defines how the uh, edge of the roadway in our intersection is defined. 
and here is selected by two percent it's been from the center line of the intersection with the, from this alignment to the edge of the road is two percent or we can go ahead and use the uh, uh the alignment or the profile of the roadway to define this edge and here let's just go ahead with the uh, default parameter in the uh, curb return uh, profile parameter okay it, basically it tells us how we connect in a one uh, roadway alignment uh, to the other one and how your curb can connect from one elevation this road has its own elevation and this road has a different profile elevation how we make the transition from one point to the other point and basically that's how we're going to tell uh, uh, um, uh, the computer to uh, uh, to civil 3d to define this uh, for us okay so the next step is when you go into here in the uh, uh, corridor region in the corridor region basically civil cd will ask us what assembly to use at what section so if you go in here to uh, select different uh, uh, assembly you can see what assembly been used normally if you have a, a somebody uh, in in your department knows a lot about intersection these are already preloaded they can put these in here or you can go ahead and select a different type of uh, uh, assembly for which section you want to use for your intersection and uh, I, I, right here we only have one surface anyway so that's going to be our existing surface and we're going to create a new corridor we don't have this to existing corridor and we're going to go ahead and create the intersection and it's going to think for a second and it should have an intersection pretty soon here we go and there's our intersection and let's see the 3d view, 3D view of it. you can go ahead and go to view it in 3d and you can see it is a pretty complex uh, geometry really and that's how you create an intersection.